office. I am Martha Barnett. I'm a presenter with Unique and today we are talking blending your eyeshadow. This is a question that I get asked about quite often so I thought it would be a good idea to do a quick tutorial on it today. So I've already applied eye primer to my eyelids. Now I use eye primer because it makes my lids slightly tacky. It's just enough to give a little bit of grip to my eyelids so that my powder eyeshadow will stay on my lids. It won't crease. Have you ever at the end of the day looked in the mirror and realized that your eyeshadow has creased and it's all gathered right in the middle of your eye and it's like all glumped together? Glumped, is that a word? Ooh, it is now. Uh, anyway, I've had that happen so many times. With an eye primer, you won't have that issue. So I put on eye primer and I've already started. I used a nice big fluffy brush and I've gone ahead with this neutral shade. It's sort of a pink actually, but I find it, it comes across as a real neutral because it's got enough um, tan, kind of a brown tone to it. So I've gone ahead and I've put that color over my entire lid. Now I always get asked, if you put that over your entire lid, don't you end up covering it up? No, because I'm gonna blend other colors in with it and I'm going to, um, I am sort of gonna blend them together. They're not gonna cover each other, they're gonna blend together. So now, next, I'm gonna use this dense brush. It's got very dense, short bristles, and I'm going to go in with this darker grayish green color, and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of my eye, kind of in a sideways V shape, and I'm gonna just dip into that and then tap off the excess and then I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to go across the crease right here, okay? And then I'm gonna come down towards my lashes, kind of a sideways V shape. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now don't worry, I know that looks very intense right now, very dark. Like I said, this is a lesson in blending. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna go in with this color. It's sort of a maroonish kind of a burgundy color, I guess I would call it. And I'm gonna dip into that and I'm gonna go right here, just slightly in the center of my eye, just a tiny bit. I'm not gonna make a huge amount of color right there just a bit and I'm not going to go around a lot of the territory of the eyelid just a small amount right there now I am going to grab a different palette because on me on the inner corner of my eye I would like a lighter color and I'm gonna go for this shimmery champagne, this very light color right here and I'm actually gonna just dab that on my finger and I'm gonna put that right here in the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna add light to the inner corner and I'm gonna add depth to the outer corner. Now notice I don't use a shimmery, glittery color all over my entire lid because that's gonna draw attention to the wrinkles and at my age, I don't want that happening. Okay, now I've got my color Overall, I'm gonna go back to that big fluffy brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of brush cleaner and I'm gonna just spritz that on my brush and I'm gonna use a towel and just wipe that off. That way my brush is nice and clean. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna blend those colors so that you can't see any line of demarcation between the colors. Now, I'm not gonna to blend too much. I don't wanna muddy them. I just wanna get rid of any lines that are real obvious. Ah, 
All right, there we go. And I'm gonna grab this little eyeliner brush and I'm gonna go back to that grayish green color and I'm gonna put just a little bit of that along my lower lashes in place of eyeliner. Now, if you have issues with this um, sort of flaking off or, or um, what do I wanna say, leaving any residue under your eye, I never have this issue with the unique eyeshadows even though they're a powder um, blend they stay right there. I don't ever have any um, residue under my eye later in the day, but if you ever have an issue with it migrating and not staying there, you can always use a little spritz of setting spray on your brush first. And I'll do that with the second one just to show you. I would just take a little bit of setting spray, spritz that brush, okay, go back in, grab that color, and apply that under the eye. That setting spray is gonna give it a little more hold. Remember, setting spray is like hairspray for your face. Keeps everything where it's supposed to stay. In fact, I'm gonna give my whole face a spritz of that, even though I already used a setting powder. I love a good setting spray. That's gonna keep everything where it's supposed to go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a little lash primer and a little mascara, and then this is gonna be our finished eye look. And I'll give you a little bit closer look at that as soon as I finish up here. Now, the lash primer, again, is just going to help my mascara stay where it's supposed to. Not that I ever have any issues with the 4D going where it's not supposed to. Never have any issues with it migrating. But it will also condition my lashes. It'll make them nice and soft, because let's face it, lashes are hair. So it conditions them. And it kind of helps my mascara do an even bigger job, vavoom, kind of amplifies it. So let me get at least one coat of mascara on so you can see the finished look. And yes, if you notice, I do switch hands when I apply mascara. I am weird that way. I know most people We'll stick with their dominant hand and I don't. I have to switch hands. I don't know why. It's a weird thing about me. All right, there we go. That is my finished look. Let me give it a quick check over. All right, and let me give you a... There we go. That is our finished look. Let me pop off the hair band and let me grab a little bit of lip butter. I just got a brand new shade yesterday. It is... Picnic in the Park. Let's check this out. Let's give the hair a little fluff there. Check out this shade. This is one of the new shades that just came out for spring and summer. And a lip butter is kind of like a combination lip balm and a lipstick. It gives you a little bit of color, but it also hydrates. It's like a lip balm, so it's gonna do everything that your lip balm does for your lips. It hydrates, it moisturizes, gets rid of chapped lips, but it's also gonna give you a little bit of color. And these new lip butters have flavor. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's like mango. Oh, it's wonderful. Love this a color. All right, so there you go, my friends. There's a little lesson on blending your eyeshadows so that you don't have those chunky blocks of color that kind of look odd. All right, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you'll follow, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications when I have a new video coming out, all the things. I appreciate you being here. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.